My name is Rapsy, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here, because I want to make sure that I have not missed this blacksmith man. Um, and I think there is one path left unexhausted up in this area. I mean, there was a skeleton chasing me, right? So the skeleton had to have come from somewhere. Oh, hello. Hello, explodey skull. Explode for me. Well, apparently there is no longer a skeleton chasing me, so therefore there must not have been an area for a skeleton to have come from. I don't know. Don't argue with my logic. It's it's okay. It means that whoops. That was bad. It means that we're going to proceed forward at least. Drop down again. And again. And again. How would I get those ones over there, I wonder? Hmm. Is there this one? Wait, what? I can't... Is that an alive bone wheel or a dead bone wheel? It has to be dead. It's not moving. Yeah. I don't know particularly how I would have gotten that one there, but I don't think it's anything important. Okay, are you ready to see the most dangerous boss fight in all of Dark Souls? Honest- I- Honestly, I'm not certain if I'm ready for it. The boss's name is Pinwheel. There's some interesting lore about this boss that I'll explain in a bit. It even has a badass intro cutscene and skulls and dead bodies everywhere around. So many books, you can tell it's a very well-read sorcerer. Turn around and it's... One, two, three heads. Which all look at one another and then bang, immediately back to us. So damn intimidating. I don't really know how I'm going to do this fight with any efficacy. Okay, well, done. So, that's the pinwheel boss fight complete. Yeah. <laughs> As you might be able to tell, I was joking about the it's difficult thing. Mask of the Child. Okay, so it has three different masks. It can drop one of them on death. What's the Mask of the Child do again? I don't remember. I think it might be increased spell damage or something. Uh, toggle display. <clears throat> Slightly increases stamina recovery. That's actually probably better than what we're currently wearing. Can we... Is that a fast roll? Yep, that's a fast roll. Even with the Might Divine Club as well. Excellent. The right of kindling that it dropped means that we can now kindle bonfires, so bonfires can be uh, giving us plus something. Bonfires can give us plus 10 or 15 or many more. Shortcut ahead. Okay. Is this where I find the shortcut for the... This, is this where I activate the shortcut for the, uh, tomb thing? Alright, actually, I'm gonna quickly put the skull lantern here so that I have some source of light. There we are. There we are. There we go. Unfortunately, this will mean that I have no ability to block anything. Oh, okay, so I've got a shortcut to getting back out of here. Eh, no particular reason I would want to do that. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fight a lot of enemies without, uh, kind of a shield at all. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping this was going to lead back to the, um, previous area. Vis-a-vis -vis the coffin that we nestled in at the very start of- uh, sorry, at the very end of last episode. So I know roughly which of these that I want to go to. It's this one, and then... Oh, this is the Tomb of the Giants. I don't really want to be here right now, but... Alright, fine. I'll do this without being a little bitch about it and going and getting the item I was going to get. 
The item I was going to get for anyone interested was going to be the Sunlight Maggot. And in getting that, I would save Solaire. And also, I would have a head-based item that I could wear uh, in order to provide light down here. God damn it. There's a particularly annoying enemy down here. Um, they're basically like real big dogs, skelly dogs. Dogs of skeleton, skeleton dog things. Uh, and they are super frustrating to fight without a shield. So I might actually pop another humanity just to heal up a little bit. That's how threatened I am. I want another bonfire. That's what I desperately want. Ow. You are not allowed to do that to me. Get off. I'm going to claim that I uh, killed that guy, but really, he killed himself. Oh. Oh, patches! Yay, patches! Okay, so this means the bonfire is around here, right? Yeah. Okay, now I feel a lot better. I think this is also a warpable bonfire down here in uh, the Tomb of the Giants. So Patches is a very trustworthy fellow in the same way that Pinwheel was a very difficult boss fight. If you understand what I mean by that, you understand why we are not going to be friends. Uh, endurance? Yeah, one more endurance can help. Actually, I'm so certain this is a warpable bonfire that I'm going to warp out. Am I? Where would I even go to get this much humanity? Okay. Fine, I'll do this first. I need a lot of humanity to give to Quelano. Hey, buddy. Good day. You look reasonably sane. Thank you. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? No. No? Really? Not a cleric. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I really? First, but, well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> really? There's some treasure down here. Let me meet the most gullible man and just have a look. Oh, look. There's dead bodies. Dead bodies? Oh, no. Yep, he's a dick. <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse, that's the real treasure. You're a dick, Patches. <laughs> you horrible, horrid twat. Okay. Collect these just while I can. Oh, cool. Skull Lantern. I did not know there was a Skull Lantern actually available here in the tombs. I thought you had to farm the other guys to get them. Okay, so we're just going to explore around here a little bit. There we are. Hello again! No hollow, are you? Nope. Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights. My former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? Well, there over there you can see the faint outline of one. These used to be the Paladins of the Way of Night. Oh, sorry, the Way of White. And they are Petrus's, um, basically, subservience. Oh, excellent, we're dead. Uh, not particularly okay with that. I need that humanity back, so I guess I just have to go find Patches and jump down the hole again. God damn it. I just need to more opportunely pick my attacks. Oh, you, you 
I... Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Sure. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But uh, if I were in your shoes, ooh, who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again. Eh? <laughs> sure. I'm totally not going to murder you the first time you turn your back to me. That's not a thing that friends do to friends. But it's what I'll do to you. Hey. Don't even know where I'm going right now. Is this a new path? Oh, baby. This looks like a new path. This looks like somewhere I haven't been. No! Okay. Equip shield. Fight enemies. Too many enemies. Don't fight enemies. Lose humanity. Run away. Run away from the fight. No! All that humanity. Oh, the humanity. That's unfortunate. Uh, I definitely need head-based stuff. I need to be able to continue using my shield. Alright, fine, I'll warp out of here. Where am I going to get this much humanity from? Uh, just lost eight humanity, that's unfortunate. Let's go to the chamber of the princess. Wait, this isn't the daughter of chaos. Whoops. Warp again. Daughter of Chaos, thank you very much. So yeah, we can warp directly into the Tomb of Giants, as I predicted. I should have just warped out. I really should have. There's no reason for me to have lost all of the eight humanity there. Okay, I don't have humanity to offer you. Okay, I'm gonna pop this one humanity. Offer you my humanity. No humanity? Oh, there we go. Popped the humanity, and let's see if we have any twin humanities. We totally do. Pop those. You can have all this. One. Covenant Alliance deepened. Covenant Alliance deepened. And then one more time, we'll deepen that Covenant Alliance. Uh, I think we're still, like, shitloads away from actually having any appreciable uh, input there. How do I- how am I gonna get all of this, uh, this humanity? Where can I find the most humanity? I guess that's in, uh, New Londo? Alright, I guess I have to go to New Londo then. God damn it. This is all just to save Solaire, by the way. Fuck it. What if I just... Okay. Where is the closest area I can teleport to? I think it actually might be here. For the areas where the Fire Sage Demon and stuff are. Where we fought um, a giant snake and the second uh, Kirk invasion. I think that's this actually might be the closest area for me. So what we're going to do, hopefully, is go down here... Uh, whoops. Nope. I mean, to be all the way down there. 
Oopsie. We're going to be going down here. We are going to try and use a dragon great weapon in order to kill an enemy on the other side of an impenetrable wall. Also, I guess I'm going to heal up from all of that damage I just caused myself. In that way, we won't actually need to give any more humanity to the, uh, the old woman. Plus, I don't think I actually get the Sunlight Maggot from doing that, though. Excellent. Good work breaking my paws there, friend. And boom. Oh, it's a two hit to kill you. I am not playing patiently enough for this. There is something about me today that just wants to rush through all of this and just do it quick and easy, but that's not, that's not the Dark Souls way. It needs to be long, drawn out, and painful. That's the Dark Souls way. Okay. Hiya! Excellent. Rest here for a second, just so if I end up dying, I come back to this area. Hopefully I don't end up dying, though. Such is often my hope. So some of these statues are not statues, but... Firebutt guys. I call them firebutt guys because they basically are all butt. And they create fire. What do you want? I'm not the world's best namer of things. Hello, Assignment Demon. We haven't seen you in literally an episode. Well, two episodes, actually. That's a big swing and a miss right there. Gotcha. Anything? No, of course not. There's a guy up there that I'm not interested in interacting with, and there's a guy to the left that I'm not interested in interacting with. Not yet, at least. And then there's these two guys here that I'm only slightly interested in acting, uh, interacting with. Okay. So here is the door down here. Ah, there we go. 60 FPS, making some clipping issues here. But here is the door, all the way down here. On the other side of that door are six bugs. Wait, what? Why? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is Solera already fucked? Why, why are the bugs on this side? Or are there just more bugs on the other side? Okay, there just must be more bugs on the other side, okay. Oof. Anyway, there's six of those on the other side, and one of them is the one that kills Solaire. Locked by some contraption. It will be unlocked if we were to do enough for the Covenant. Damn it. It's supposed to... Hit the ground, damn it! Trying to send damage through the wall in order to kill. So I'm looking at my soul count just to make sure that I know when I've killed one, if I do. So that's clearly done all it can right now. Let's use different dragon weapon, just in case that's not going to be enough. Dragon King Great Axe, that'll work. Oh, please. I would like to kill it. You can also poison mist through the door if you're a pyromancer, by the way. Oh, shit. Why don't we toxic mist through the door? We could do that. That is another way that we could save Solaire. This is not working. I've only ever read about this working, by the way. Weapon at risk. Okay. So now we actually need to... Any other dragon, dragon tooth? Yeah, this one doesn't actually have like a powerful dragon based attack. It just thumps. Hmm. Anything else? There has to be something. No. 
No. Nothing. Okay. All right, Dor. You win this time. You definitely win this time, but I'll be back. And I am going to be bringing with me Toxic Mist. You will rue this day. Uh, with no humanity and basically that much. Yeah, I'll actually just dark sign out of here. 4.2k souls is not worth uh, a homeward bone to me at this point. Okay. Warp to... Oh, are you kidding me? You must be! Alright, there's no bonfire in, uh, in Blighttown either. Great, now I need to go all the way down Blighttown? Really? Alright. I could have... There has to be a Blighttown bonfire. It's such a huge area of the game. Nothing, apparently. It's lovely. Okay, fine. Let's change our weapons out again. So, in order to make Quailana, no, not Quailana, uh, one of the lost sisters, I can't remember what her name is, the sisters, the daughters of Isolith, uh, Isolith that is, in order to make her appear, we are going to need to have a plus 10 Pyromancer's Glass. Is it, is it something urgent? It is, yeah, we need you to eat a lot of stuff. Yeah, have those as well. Eat dung. <laughs> uh, I'm still so happy we can make him do that. None of those are particularly worthwhile to give to you. I'll give you the copper coin, though. Those are all better with me. Crystal straight sword. Man serpent great sword. Dragon great sword. No, I'm keeping that. Enchanted falchion. Shotel. Jagged ghost blade. Server. This is mostly just going to get all these items out of my inventory. Great club. Dragon Tooth is pretty big, though. There we go. They can all go. I don't care if they're unique weapons. I'm never going to use them. Short bow. Dragon Slayer. Great bow. I've got enough uh, strength. I'll probably be able to wield that. Sorcerer's Catalyst. Not worth my time, either. We've got a second Skull Lantern, so that can go. Blank shield, Caduceus Kite shield, Crystal Knight shield. Uh, I will keep the Pierce shield, though, because it is part of the quest line that we have been in. Knight stuff, Elite Knight stuff. I should probably sell a lot of this, to be honest. Fang Borhelm. Definitely needs to go. Maiden gloves. Actually, no, the rest of it's kind of... Yeah, it really doesn't matter if we sell it or not. Miracles, Hornet Ring, boost critical attacks. No. No. Not particularly interested in boosting any of those. Okay. So now the rest of the stuff is going to be get uh, gotten by Crunching Souls. Because we have all of those souls of the Proud Knight uh, from our adventures in the catacombs. I'm hoping to end this episode by buying Toxic Mist. Progress is slightly slow just because I want to make sure I don't do things in the wrong order and kill Solaire. I want Solaire to be continually alive. Dude's a badass. Uh, Please tell me I have enough. I see. In any case, I apologies. Forget that I. Okay, if we said yes, by the way, if we told him uh, where we got our pyromancy, he would go down to Blighttown and he would hollow. So I don't want that to happen. Modify equipment once and twice. Lovely. I don't actually have the ability to ascend that yet. And so, <laughs> can I purchase? No, I can't purchase it from you yet. Goodbye then. Oh, he's so sad that I didn't give it to him. But I told him before, I'm not allowed to give him to him. X has to be the one to give it to him. Okay, Blighttown. 
Damn it. Really? This is just gonna take ages. Ages and ages and ages and ages. I might, between the end of this episode and next episode, farm some humanity off screen, just in case this doesn't work. Maybe. What if I make this episode just a little longer and try and kill that guy? That'll, that'll do, actually. I don't know if I'll get the maggot's helm uh, for killing it, by the way. Over this side of the wall. Or if it drops at his feet. Why am I gendering a bug? Or if it drops at the bug's feet. Okay. I could attempt to go through this really quickly by using the Blight Town drop. But I don't think I'm going to be good enough to do that first time. Okay. Thank you for the freeze. That's really good, game. Really good. I really didn't need frames while I'm running through a series of particularly difficult enemies. So, yeah. Thank you for that. It's only essential for people with uh, speed running the Blight Town skip, anyway. Got you first. It drops you down to that ledge, I think, actually. The one we just passed. Okay. Down there. And then you usually jump through there or something. I don't know. I am not a speed runner at the moment, at least. Some point in the future, hopefully. I'd like to be a speedrunner. Not a good one, though. A half-assed one. That's much easier to live up to. Okay. Now. Quailana. Not Quailana. What? Why do I keep saying Quailana? It's just the forgotten sister. The lost sister. Whatever. I just need to find her. He should be around here-ish somewhere. I don't know which pole... Sorry, which, uh, which of these... I guess... Uh, what would they be called? Oh, it's over here. There she is. Hello, lost sister. How are you? Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quailana of Isaac. What is Quailana? I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Like Salomon? Yes, of course. It should be expected. Very well. You shall be my pupil. But to pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Are you prepared to do this? That's just item. Lovely. Uh... Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. Over 200 years ago, there was a man almost as bungling as you. In your world, he was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. The little rascal really made something of himself. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Uh, that must have happened to Salomon. Pyromancy is the... But I would... Okay, so why can't I... <sighs> uh... Quelana? Please? Where is the item I came down here for? Please? No oh. luck. Hmm. Well, young pupil... You must have patience, but do not keep me waiting much longer. Alright, fine. I'm gonna go over to the bonfire, and I will read exactly where I'm supposed to find Toxic Mist, because apparently she doesn't sell it. I thought she did. I really did think she did. Maybe we have to buy a certain number of pyromancies from her, and then she'll refresh her stock or something. I have no clue. 
It wouldn't fit with the idea of her teaching us them rather than selling us scrolls, though. So now that we're sitting at this fireplace, this bonfire right here, let me say that my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Dark Souls. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does let me get my content out to new people. Plus, we beat the best, the most difficult boss in the entire game just a bit earlier. Yeah, Pinwheel. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does get me, it does help me get my content out to new people, and we will.